So I can hand cut. Sorry, I'm just trying to mentally. It's like a nano lightsaber. I love it. Yeah, it's using plasma to cut the uh, cut the aluminum. So what? Like, what's the the thickest material that you've kind of cut with this? Like, so aluminum wise. Your, your limitation when you go to uh, cut material yeah. is how long of a span of wire you can get. Okay. So right now on the wire. Tool, oh, because as you use this, it's like diminishing that material. Right. Right. right but so on on the wire tool, we're constantly yeah. refreshing the I wire see. that's in there. From, yeah. Yeah. From that spool. So the physical limitation comes from now the effect of wire span there for cutting. Okay. So right now that's 32 millimeters on this tool. Yeah. On the machine John built there, that's around 60 millimeters. Okay. Cool. So it, there's no physics limitation for like how long of a span you can have. Like right. Some people even have had wire EDM machines up to like a meter in length. So. <laughs> okay. It just depends on what you actually need to cut. Sure. Sure. And and yeah. Sure. Go That's wild. That's so cool. Right? I love how you're just using like Wago connectors to shove the, the wire in. And then you have how thick. I love those things. How thick is the. Um, is that aluminum that you got? Yeah, this is aluminum. So this is. Here, would you like to try? This is for uh, just. Yeah, the wire This is a $600. What's happening, I guess? So what we're doing is we're vaporizing the metal that's in there. And we're also vaporizing the tool you're holding a little bit. So, so we have a. We're stimulating thousands and thousands of little lightning bolts between the work material and the tool material every second. And that's what that plasma and hits is. Yeah. So this is electrical discharge machining, and then those electrical discharges are what they brush into it. And we're able to cut any conducting material, be it aluminum like here, or stainless steel, hardened steel, titanium, tungsten carbide. Yeah, yeah. Anything electrical conducting, we can vaporize. Yeah. It's just a matter of you know, Dude, I love How fast that. you're gonna be Oh, so you could have like a really long rod, and if you had some, uh, you could do a really high aspect ratio. Okay. Oh, this one's yeah. falling out. I don't feel like I shouldn't touch it. It's I mean, it's definitely looser in there. It's, is it low voltage, high amperage? So, oh, yeah. so this it's high voltage and high amperage, oh, okay. but only in very short terms. So those sparks that are happening are super high amperage. They're like well over 100 amps per spark, but it's only for microseconds at a time. Okay. And so because of that, we're able to actually make present too. So this, yeah. is, this is an example of something I cut the other night on the Ender 3. You I didn't cut need this. You just sliced all the way through exactly, it. Yeah, I didn't need on the hot the end anymore. End of three. Yeah, you with modified the, with your <laughs> like with the wire tool on there. Oh yeah, so. I didn't even recognize it as an end of three. That's right. freaking awesome. So we have a wire EDM tool. I didn't yeah. need the hot end anymore from our so ender, hard. so I threw it right back in the machining bag. Dude, that's and cut like, through the brass, aluminum, yes, steel, yes. and hardened steel. I want to cut all my things. Yeah. So hardened steel as well. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So that's. That's just an example of how we can cut varying different thicknesses at the oh, same time and so varying like, different types of materials. Uh, half yeah. millimeter aluminum is in there right now? Yeah. Okay, yeah. cool, so cool. So those are just some of the ones. So you, you could go through more like thicker material, but you'd, you'd sure. end up vaporizing more of your, right. your uh, I don't know what you call this, rod? Oh, that's just a brass or, rod. Brass and that's rod. just being used for demonstration. Right? Yeah, yeah. And it could just be regular brass, right? It's not like there's any exotic materials. Right. Well, I mean, all of the brass that we're using is like through brass, but that's like the Okay, all right, cool. Yeah, so then the uh, the wire tool itself, you can see there's actually a wire in here. Yeah, yeah. Instead of using a brass rod, we're using a 0 0.3 millimeter uh, brass wire. Yeah, yeah. Holding it under tension. Yeah, and you're, you're kind of pulling it through, hopefully, that's, before it completely vaporizes, right. right? Right, so and we have a spool motor on the back here that yeah. keeps pulling the wire through, and we right. have a pinch roller on the front yeah. here. Yeah, right. Now this For provides the tension out. while the yeah. motor back here is pulling it. Yeah, yeah. And there's a ceramic wire guide right in here yeah. that prevents uh, X Y translation of the axis. Right. Of the wire. So you want to keep you want throwing it to wonder. Right. right. Gotcha. Exactly. So it comes around this, and it comes part of the circuit here at the tungsten carbide block. Yeah. And yeah. It goes on to the waste. Yeah. Dude, so is there anything exotic? Like, are you just using like salty water, like regular stuff? We're there's no special. Stuff. Okay, so there's no special the solutions then. The only thing exotic is the power cord. Okay, to do the uh, high frequency uh, so, water so damage control. Exactly, we have high frequency, high power pulses. Yes. And that's pretty tough to do. Right. To make them consistent, make them high quality. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. That's what. And that's the thing that, that like. So what, and that's the limitation. Sell, is basically. Okay. Is basically whether or not you can have the power supply to do that.
this. Okay. So we're selling this right now on RackRobo.io for three ninety nine. Yeah, yeah. And we're also selling the wire tool conversion kit for twenty four volt printers for one forty nine. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Um, you can get those as a combination. Yeah. Yeah. And then we're also selling the uh, wire spools. Just normally in the industry, you're going to be getting wire spools that are like sixteen kilograms, and those are. I don't want that. Right. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. They're like hundreds of dollars. To yeah. Yeah. You, you're for, selling the spools, I'm guessing, right? We are. We are. So these are nineteen ninety nine. And we yeah. do about seven hours of wire EDM cutting. Okay, wires. all right. So and you, we're, we're there's some really math you can figure out how much cut you would get so, or... Okay, yeah, exactly. yeah, cool. Yeah, so I, I normally... Because I, I don't know what you're going to be cutting with it. Right. I do the um, the speed that the stock wire tool is pulling. Yeah. And we've done the calculation based on that. So okay. A quarter, uh, quarter of a kilogram on the wire spool. Right, 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 right. So 414 meters, of, somewhere around there. Okay, all right, cool. Your mileage will vary, but yeah. yeah. Exactly, so it just depends on what you're cutting. Cool, so power core is the thing to yep. check out. Yeah, you and if you've got an existing Cartesian setup, I'm, I'm guessing you've got people that are adding your equipment, so all sorts sure. of uh, printers, yeah. right? We have some people building um, entirely custom machines Yeah. where they're saying, okay, I want I want this setup, I want that setup, and they're yeah. like building it from the ground up, just like that one over there. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And then you have other people who are just doing uh, conversions like this of machines. Yeah, they got so an old printer and they want to like repurpose exactly. it, do something else with it. Exactly. Very cool. That's where I'm at, actually. <laughs> it's, uh, it's cool. Well, th thank you so much. Yeah, I really no, appreciate that.